As of February 2017, 26 states and Washington, D.C. have laws legalizing recreational and or medicinal marijuana use. Restrictions on who can use marijuana and age limitations vary by state. Marijuana is the most used recreational drug and also the second most widely used intoxicant among teenagers after alcohol. Though marijuana use is considered to be relatively safe for adults, it is thought not to be safe for teens and children. The teenage years are an important time for brain development and maturation. Throughout adolescence, myelination occurs. Myelination helps increase the speed of communication between neurons. Synaptic pruning also occurs. Synaptic pruning is the selective deletion of connections between neurons. Myelination and synaptic pruning both occur throughout adolescence and are necessary for optimal neurocognitive performance of your brain, including how well you learn, make decisions, and control your impulses. The active ingredient of cannabis or marijuana is THC or tetrahydrocannabinol. THC can travel to the brain and bind to cannabinoid receptors in your nerve cells. This binding will trigger neurons to fire signals between neurons. In large enough doses, it will overwhelm the brain and lead to the symptoms of getting high, including euphoria, panic, impaired memory, and increased appetite. Cannabis can also affect white matter of the teenage brain. You can think of white matter like telephone wires that connect different neurons and regulate communication between them. White matter connectivity is believed to be especially important in the developing teenage brain. The results of several studies on white matter development suggest that adolescents who were heavy cannabis users had unhealthy alterations in the health of their white matter fibers. Basically, heavy cannabis use was linked to poor neurocognitive performance of the brain in tests of attention, memory, and emotional functioning. Many studies have found that heavy cannabis use could significantly hurt information processing speed and memory amongst 17 to 21 year olds. A similar study of marijuana users aged 13 to 18 found that teens who used marijuana more than once per week performed worse when tested on their attention, learning, and memory. However, another study found that abstinence from marijuana over eight years instead of three weeks restored cognitive function in users aged 20 to 24. The take-home message is that marijuana use can harm how your developing brain matures and can affect your behaviors negatively for the rest of life. It would be wise for you not to use it during your teenage years especially so your brain can develop properly and function effectively to help you lead a happy and fulfilling life. Mm -hmm.